Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 15 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we'll be cutting wire into short lengths ready for making some more eyelets. These eyelets are made from a lot finer wire so they can fit into the brass and aluminium tubes we're about to cut into 3 and 5 millimeter lengths using the jigs I built in my latest video. Link in the description. Go check it out. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. And that's how teeny tiny they are. Okay, so that was an example of what we're doing. We've not cut the wire yet, but we are going to do some rod cutting. I'm using 0.8mm brass rod and cutting it into 3mm lengths. These will be used for the main turnbuckles connected to the aircraft frame. Oh, and did I tell you I built some jigs? Check the description below for the link. Okay, let me walk you through what we're doing here. You put the brass rod against the stop, then getting a dull blade, not a sharp one, you score the rod. I do it between eight and 12 strokes backwards and forwards. Take a pair of pliers, any will do, line up on the score mark and just lever it. The rod will then snap. Jobs are good. There we have the brass tubing cut down to 3mm length. Now for the aluminium tubing. This one is the same as the brass. It's 0.8mm in width. But we're going to be cutting this down to 5mm lengths as this is the one that we're using for the turnbuckles. So let's crack on with that, shall we? Thank you. 
With the aluminium tube, you don't need as many strokes, only about four or five. Otherwise, everything is exactly the same as the brass tubing. There we have the aluminium tubing cut down to 5mm lengths. Those jigs really helped with this. Next we're going to be cutting the wire to non-specific lengths. I'm doing them oversized. It just makes it easier to twist them if the tails are longer. So here we go with cutting them down. And there we have a nice pile of wire strips all ready for making into eyelets. So without further ado, let's get some eyelets made shall we? There you have the eyelets made. I cut it down short as I didn't want to bore you too much. Anywho, onwards and upwards. Let's get some rigging done shall we? can't tell you about the line, apart from it's got a £2 braking strain. Yep, it's fishing line. We're mixing normal super glue with the rubber super glue. That way it means it goes off that little bit quicker. And we're using the 3mm brass rod lengths that we cut with our tube cutting jig. So, let's get some rigging done, shall we? I just spent five minutes getting this all ready to glue and tighten up and I pulled the wrong end too hard and everything slipped out. Oh! Anyway, let me show you this one in real time. We'll also time it. This will show how long it takes to do one line of rigging. So, let's go.
there you go. Five minutes and 15 seconds to do one line of rigging. And there are an absolute metric shit ton on here. Here, have a close up of it. This is what it looks like. I'm really happy with that. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 15. If you want to see what happens in episode 16, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.